There are too many children suffering from TB globally. We know that about 200 children die every day of tuberculosis, which is curable and preventable. Currently, tuberculosis is not considered an important childhood illness, and that is fundamentally what needs to change. I'd say there is a typical example of a, a mother who cared about her child being sick. She took the child to the nearest health facility. They said it was a, a cough, provided seven days of uh, treatment for the cough. Uh, I'd say they noticed the child was not getting better, went back to the community facility again where the, the health workers uh, began to suspect that there may be a problem like TB. They sent the child off to the next referral level where the clinicians decided they were not capable of managing the child's problem at that level and then the child went off to the third level of care at the specialist hospital and only after three months of further uh, investigations did the clinicians ultimately come to a conclusion that the child had TB and uh, initiated the treatment at that point in time. This means decentralizing care for children with TB to the lowest level of facilities, but also involving community providers. They need to be ready to at least think about TB um, and then be able to refer the children to the level of care where they can be diagnosed and where they can be treated. Margaret is a woman who developed TB. She was diagnosed and she started treatment. I'm the one who first got the TB. Then I started started taking the tablets. After two months, they they checked me again whether the TB is still positive. Then after that, after that two months, these people started coughing. At the hospital, she was told that these children, in fact, were likely to have TB, and she was sent off to another hospital where the diagnosis was eventually made. I think there's some very low-hanging fruit here. When you have an adult coming in for TB treatment and they have children, they often bring the children with them, like in Margaret's case. And those children at every visit should be screened for tuberculosis. If, the, if their parent is a confirmed case, they should either be on IPT, on a, on a prophylaxis treatment, or if they start to cough, those cases should be identified early on. The good news is that we know that children respond very well to TB treatment, and so we simply need to stop being afraid of commencing them on treatment and get them on that treatment early on so that they can be cured. Yes, I can go to school. I can learn. Now I'm fine. Now I'm all right. I can play. I do not have any problem. Treatment works, and it's going to be getting even much better with the introduction of new child-friendly formulations. Treating a one-year-old baby with TB today in most countries of the world means you take an adult pill, you either crush it or cut it up, and then just take a wild guess as to how much of that you should either put into applesauce or into water, and then try to get the baby to swallow something that tastes horribly. And you have to do this every day for six months in just drug-sensitive TB. As opposed to with the new formulation where we will have a state-of-the-art formulation where you take a pill that's the exact right dosage for any child, it dissolves in water or liquid medium in 10 to 15 seconds, it tastes fine, and then we have the best shot at getting a baby or any other child to take that every day for six months. That is only one piece of the puzzle in the overall management of childhood TB. We need to ensure that no opportunities are missed um, in detecting children and, and linking them to care early. The maternal, newborn, and child health um, platforms provide one of the best opportunities that, uh, that can be optimized to ensure that this can be achieved. We can ensure that all health workers are trained to recognize symptoms of TB and to take the appropriate actions at whatever level to refer or treat. Ensure that there is a regular supply of drugs at all levels of the healthcare system where children will access treatment for TB. Ensure that children can access uh, their drugs close to their homes 
thereby eliminating the need to travel to distant facilities to collect treatment. And if we continue to do these things and we continue the momentum, we can ensure that children are linked to proper care and treatment because no child deserves to die of tuberculosis.